Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Missy and I write the blog Rambling Rose Farmhouse. I'm happy to have you here today. And today, this video is part of a series that I'm doing with Rachel from this lovely little farmhouse. And we are doing um, 12 days of DIY Christmas presents that you can make to give to your family and friends. So the DIY that I'm doing today is a bath tea. Now, I am definitely a bath person. I really enjoy taking a relaxing bath. So this type of thing is like right up my alley. And that is why I chose to do this um, as a gift for one of my DIYs for this um, little series. And so what I have here are all some different things that are just really um, good for your skin. And then also I'm going to use an essential oil that is for good for relaxation. Um, so all of this is something that um, someone who just wants to kind of relax, relax and get unstressed at the end of the day, they would probably like this type of a gift. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. So I'm going to do it one way. Um, just in a bulk container and then another way where we can put it into some tea bags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have and then get started doing that. Before I start, I just want to remind you that you can um, get, in, get an entry into the drawing that we're going to be doing at the end of this series by sharing this video on your social media accounts and then coming back to this video and commenting and letting me know um, how many times you shared it or where you shared it to. And for each time you share it, your name will go into the drawing. And at the end of the series, one person is going to get a lot of these gifts that we are making in this series sent to you so that you can either just use them for yourself or you can give them to someone for a gift if that's what you want to do. All right, so what I have here, I'm starting with Epsom salt and I have a cup and a half of Epsom salt and I am going to add some essential oil to that. The one that I picked to use is Stress Away because the whole purpose of this is to de-stress and so this is a really good oil for that and I really like the way it smells. Um, it really is very um, relaxing. It smells great. So I'm going to put um, probably about eight drops of oil in my Epsom salt and then I'm going to stir it up really well so that it'll kind of mix throughout. The Epsom salt. So Epsom salt is great in your bath with, especially mixed with essential oils, you know, as it is, but we're going to add some other um, wonderful things to this for the bath tea. So I'm going to go ahead, this one is going to be the bulk one, and so I'm going to layer it into this glass jar. So hopefully it's going to look really pretty when I get it all layered in here. So the Epsom salt is going to be, oh good, I'm going to spill it everywhere. It's going to be the first thing that's going to go in the jar. Let me see if I can pour it in. Okay, so the second ingredient that I'm gonna put into this tea is oatmeal. And what I have is just regular old, old-fashioned oats. I have them here in this little, I have a half a cup of them. And I'm gonna put them in my little food chopper and try to just break them up um, I don't really want to make them a complete powder, but we'll see what happens when I put them in here, whether I'm going to do that or not. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, it's kind of powdery, but it still has some oatmeal chunks in there. So that's gonna be my next layer in my jar. 
And then the next thing I have are I have some flower petals. I have some uh, calendula and some rose petals. Both of these um, flowers are very good for the skin. Also, like I said before, the oatmeal is really good for your skin. The Epsom salt is good for your skin and helps you relax. So what I'm gonna do with my flowers, or I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of my container with these um, flower petals. So I'm not really measuring them, but anywhere, probably around a half of a cup of petals is what to put in there. Of course, you could always put more of anything that you wanted to. I'm probably not going to be able to get as many roses in there because the top for my container let me grab it, is a cork. So it has to go in a little bit. So I'm going to put a few more roses in here. These roses smell amazing. All right, so here is one of my bath tea. This is the, um, you know, the bulk one. Now, if you give it to someone this way, they would just stir it up in the container and then dump some into their bath, like a half of a cup of this into the bath. Some people would love that. They would love to bathe with the flowers floating all around in the water and all of that, but some people do not like that. And one thing is you do have to clean it all up out of your tub when you get finished. So this would be, you know, according to if you know what your friend would like or not, whether they would like a bulk one like this that they would have to clean up out of the tub or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up another batch and show you what we can do with it. And back to some drops of my stress away oil. I'm going to mix that all up. And then this is going to go into my bigger container. I'm going to grab another half of a cup of oats. And I'm definitely making a mess over here, so it just is what it is. I'm going to put these in my little food chopper and chop them up too. Let's see if I can get all these that I spilled and add to it. Right, so I'm going to add my half cup of oats in here and then I'm going to get some more flowers. I'm going to do a half of a cup of each one of my flower petals. Now there's all sorts of other things that you could add to this if you wanted to. You could add um, baking soda, you could add like powdered goat milk, um, other flowers, other oils, just whatever you like. But this is just what I chose to make mine out of. I think it's really pretty. And I like all of the ingredients because I think they're all really good for you. So this one, I'm just going to stir it all up. 
try to get everything mixed in here really well. So what I have here are just some tea bags. Uh, well, they're calling them tea filters, but that you can, when you make your own tea, you can put them in the tea bags. So these I'm going to put in the tea bags so that if, you know, a person would like the bath tea, but not like having to clean it all up out of their um, tub, then the tea bag is going to be the way to go. Okay, so I'm going to try to make a little funnel out of this paper to help me get my tea into my tea bags because I don't think the flower petals will go through my funnel that I usually use in my kitchen. So I'm just gonna try to make me one that's a little bit bigger at the bottom, the opening down here. Okay. Hopefully this will work, we'll see. I haven't ever put it in a tea bag before. I've only used it bulk. And then I think about a half of a cup will fit in one of these bags. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Grab a half a cup of tea. I'll just flip it right into my little funnel. Okay, it's already getting a little clogged up. All right, look at there. It worked. So a half a cup, a half a cup fills this size tea bag up, which my box doesn't say what size it is. I'll have to measure these and leave it in the um description for you what size tea bags these are so the only problem with these tea bags is that they don't seal up so the way i'm going to fix that problem is i'm going to grab my sewing machine which i have right over here Let's see if i can get over here where you can see what i'm doing and i'm just going to stitch the top of this bag closed. Now, you could stitch it closed by hand. If you have a sewing machine though, it's certainly a lot easier to stick it on here and stitch it closed this way. I'm just gonna back stitch on each end to make sure that it doesn't come loose. Right, so that is that. And this way you can drop the tea bag down into your bath and you won't end up with all of the uh, flowers and everything all over the tub. Now, I this is the tea bags that I had, so I'm using these, but I did see some others that have drawstrings. I saw some that you can use an iron to close them with. So I'm gonna try to find those and link them for you because if you don't sew, if you don't have a sewing machine, that would be a lot easier to, to get a tea bag like that and use those. Um, or like I said, you could also just get a needle and thread and sew the end of this up. You just wanna sew it pretty tight so that, um, you know, it won't come out if that's the goal is to keep it out there in like that. So this is um, one or two different ways 
to make a bath tea that you can give somebody for a gift and believe me i think that anybody well maybe not men men might not love this gift but most women and even girls would probably love this as a christmas gift so the other thing is i have um tags for you for this over on my blog and it's going to have the instructions you know of uh, the recipe will be there printable recipe will be there and the instructions for how to use the tea will be there also so be sure and go there there'll be a link in the description and you can go to the blog post and you can get the free printable gift tags and recipe right over there the other thing is don't forget to come back tomorrow and go to Rachel's channel, this lovely little farmhouse, and there you will find the next gift that we have in our series of 12 days of Christmas DIYs. And also one of you is gonna get some of this bath tea for yourself. Be sure and leave comments with this video letting me know where you shared it and how many times you shared it and you will get your name in the drawing one time for each time that you share it. So. At the end of the series, we'll add all those up and we'll pick up a, a winner of our gifts. I'm really glad to have you here today. If you are new here and you've not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and um, be sure and come back here day after tomorrow for another video.